So a couple years ago I finally started a uh, veggie garden up here, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. And one of the issues I have is watering. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm basically walking back and forth from the uh, creek to the garden and with a bucket, five gallon bucket, and it takes about 10 trips and I get everything watered. I've gotten tired of that pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do today is going to make things a little bit easier and I'm going to attempt to hook up a little uh, solar battery array so that I can pump my water from the creek up to the uh, garden, which is probably about 25-30 uh, feet away. So not a far distance, but it'll save a lot of walking. So I'm going to be using a 12 volt battery, solar charge controller, and a couple of solar panels. Just small ones, 30 watts total, and a little submersible pump, and we'll see if it works. So if this works, what it will mean for me is a lot less lifting, so that'll be good. And it'll just be a little bit more enjoyable to do my gardening without having to do half an hour of lugging water back and forth. And then I guess the big result is the more I water, the, uh, the more stuff I have in my garden to eat in the fall. All right, I think I've got everything that uh, I need. Got the battery, I've got various bits of connectors, solar connectors. So I think I'm all set. Kaya, get out of there, get out of the corn. So you can also use a lawn tractor battery, no problem. I'm going for the uh, big bad boy right there. This is the uh, charge controller, just a cheap little thing. You can get them on Amazon, probably for 25, 30 bucks. And this is gonna be attached to the uh, battery terminal and that will plug into the uh, solar panel. And basically that just allows the uh, solar panel to safely recharge your battery without uh, causing uh, damage, without overcharging it. This is a set of older solar panels I've had for a few years. They're uh, not strong, 15 watts a side, so 30 watts total. This is the little pump I'm gonna be using. It's a little utility pump, little sump pump doesn't take much power to charge it. I'm just going to drop this in the creek. This is just a little protective net so it keeps the leaves and debris out of uh, the pump. And at the end of the pump, I just fashioned these little alligator clips to make it easier for uh, attaching to the battery. I've got this bit of PVC pipe that I'm just going to run the uh, wires through, help keep the uh, moisture and the rain off it. These little fasteners are awesome, these little Coleman fasteners for hooking up your uh, solar connections. And we can see that the battery is charging. Okay, here's the uh, moment of truth here. I've got the uh, pump in the water, I've got a hose uh, connected to it, and let's see how this goes. Oh, we can hear it humming. Let's follow the hose. Hey, oh, very exciting, buddy. Yay! And there we go. Got some nice water. Nice water, Kaya. Oh my god. Hey, would you like a drink? Okay, that's uh, beautiful. So the big thing today was at least getting water up to the garden, which that was a success. I'm going to experiment with this a little bit uh, once I cut that hose down to 50 feet, and I think that's going to flow a lot better. And at the very least, if I can, if I can at least get water up there to fill my buckets, then that's cool too. Happy to get some water up to the garden. That was the test of the day. That'll be a little bit uh, less lifting for me. So super easy to do. If you got a solar panel, battery, and a charge controller, then you're good to go. And a garden hose. All right, cheers. Happy off-gridding. Go bees.